Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of Parker Roller Ballpen video and I'll revisit my Parker Roller Ballpen which I bought and reviewed about two years ago. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you are into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're looking for more pen and notebooks videos, there will be links in the description box below. So I did a review of the Parker Roller Ball Pen, which I have it right here. Uh, this is a high quality ball pen, but uh, when I reviewed it, uh, I had trouble with uh, the lead or the refill and it didn't write properly uh, because it was not uh, you know it was a very bad quality refill and even still today uh, it's still uh, you know uh, I have the same issue uh, that it cannot write well and for example if I just take my notebook and let's just uh, open this and when I try to write here Probably you can hear the sound that it's kind of like you know gets stuck on the paper and it's not smooth. So I was not happy with the you know performance of the lid and I mentioned that in the review and many of you suggested that uh, this is due to the refill not the pen and because they had a batch of bad uh, refill uh, for this model and uh, someone even suggested to you know write to Parker and they would send a free refill which I didn't do. So what happened uh, I went to um, staples and bought a new refill and today in this video I'm going to change the refill and I'm going to see that whether this is you know much smoother and better quality refill or if it's still the same. So before I start doing that if you're wondering about this tiny notebook uh, this is actually the cheapest notebook I found on Amazon or I'm sorry not actually a notebook a planner for 2022 I found on Amazon it's only ten dollars and I have a review of this which you'll find in the you know link uh, below in the description box so the Parker uh, refill uh, this is what the uh, Staples uh, associate gave me and he mentioned that this is the one which should fit in this pen and it's a uh, medium blue ink so I'm going to just you know open it up and try to change it so let's do that Okay, so it looks like this and I think you have to remove one of the side which looks like the head and this one I don't think I'll remove it. So what I'll do, I'll just you know remove the old refill and this is black and you can see that here it's um, made in France if the camera can catch it and surprisingly the new one I bought which is made in France as well and it mentions right here and the new one is actually medium and the new one is medium uh, blue and the old one was black so I'll just you know leave the old one and here we have the medium one so I'll just remove the top and this is our uh, refill and let's just put it in so looks like it's fitting here I'm going to close it looks like it's okay I'm just going to cover close the lid so looks like it fits okay so now I'm going to try to write and see how is the experience okay so it writes well and as you can see and if you were to able to you know hear the sound or the noise then you can hear that this is really smooth it's not like this one which is very rough and it doesn't slide on paper so you can see the difference in the noise and when you write it it's gliding very smoothly not like this one that you know is kind of getting stuck on paper so definitely uh, as some of you suggested that you know the problem is with the uh, lid not the pen and this is a very high quality pen and there's nothing to complain about the pen uh, because you know uh, it looks good feels good in hands and it's very uh, you know uh, fancy looking pen so if you are like you know taking this to somewhere definitely you're gonna draw some attention 
and it's going to make you feel good to have or keep a pen of this quality uh, with you uh, you know whenever you need a pen so I like the pen and now I like it even better after changing the uh, refill and uh, because it's you know writing uh, ri and because it's writing so much better and so much smoothly that uh, you know definitely I'm going to use it even more and again this is not a paid or affiliated review all my reviews are non-affiliated unbiased and honest thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you